Since the dawn of history, mankind has yearned upwards to reach for the stars, learning to navigate by them, learning to recognize the direction of home by their overhanging. Across the sea of time, a small and insignificant species reached out generation after generation in their direction, across the millennia, yearning to live among them, yearning still. The International Space Station our home among the stars for the past 20 years. Our answer to the question, what if we could? Our answer to questions we didn't know we had, full of possibilities, full of answers, still. The International Space Station is a collaboration decades in the making, a collaboration between 15 nations. Completed in the pivotal year CE 2000, the International Space Station marked, perhaps, the finish line of a long and trying space race. And at the end, a banquet of collaboration, an acknowledgement of the species' shared success and an attitude that more might be accomplished together than in competition. The ISS began construction in November of 1998. Over the next two years, numerous missions would be flown, both by Russian Proton rockets and the USA Space Shuttle, in order to assemble the initial design. The crew was made up of NASA commander Kenneth Bowersox and RSA flight engineers Vladimir Dezorov and Mikhail Tyrin. Since the fateful launch of Expedition 1, the International Space Station has played host to over 220 visitors from more than 18 nations, a number that continues to grow with each passing year. The station itself ranks among the most costly and complex endeavors in human history. At a total cost of more than $150 billion, it is the most expensive structure ever built a shared global investment in our future. The station has opened the door to a vast array of scientific data, offering insights into the nature of life science, medicine, physics, and a host of other pertinent scientific research aimed at improving life on the Earth while also preparing us to leave its cradle. To date, space-related research, like that currently taking place aboard the ISS, has yielded technologies as diverse as artificial limbs, LASIK eye surgery, mobile computers, improved water filtration, home insulation, and even materials used in today's athletic shoes. In order to service and maintain the International Space Station, numerous agencies and control centers work together to ensure the crew receives the support they need to perform their work aloft. Keeping the space station operational is a full-time job that employs thousands of ground technicians working across multiple time zones. The valuable work they perform empowers the crew aboard to carry out their missions, which, in many cases, will fundamentally change the world we live in tomorrow. The crew aboard the ISS currently have the ability to conduct upwards of 250 science experiments at any given time, experiments that are going on to further shape our understanding of the universe. In addition to the valuable scientific knowledge gained, the crew's time aboard the ISS is also acclimating NASA and its partner agencies to living conditions outside of Earth's atmosphere, conditions that will need to be accounted for before venturing out to inhabit other worlds. Crew traveling to the ISS can expect to encounter conditions foreign to anything experienced on Earth's surface. In the vacuum of space, we are reminded, like a fish breaching the surface of the vast blue expanse, that this is not the realm of mankind. Rather, it is a realm without up or down, without water, without air or food or days, or any of the essentials needed to sustain human life. And yet, we endure. We have developed systems on the earth that have allowed us to live off of it. We recycle water and air, extracting air from water itself. We are learning to grow aloft. We are generating sustainable energy from the sun and learning to adapt to conditions hostile to us. Aboard the ISS, 
crew tuned their clocks to Greenwich Mean Time, experiencing 16 sunrises and sunsets for every Earth day, traveling 17,500 miles per hour while working, eating, and sleeping, surrounded by the inhospitable vacuum of space. Luckily, through decades of work aloft, we have learned to prepare for and live comfortably with such conditions. Before departing for the International Space Station, crew members undergo a rigorous training process, exposing them to conditions similar to those they can expect to experience when leaving Earth's atmosphere. The internet and telecommunications technology have enabled crews leaving Earth to remain connected, now more so than ever. Their experience is shared with the larger world they have left behind so that all might look up with a sense of shared purpose. The ISS has proved a valuable platform for scientific research, a first step towards venturing out to and inhabiting other worlds. Now in its 20th year, the International Space Station is being utilized more and more to empower a new generation of space pioneers, opening the door to space tourism, commercial development, and wider public involvement. Companies like SpaceX and Boeing are at the forefront of developing new technologies that are being used to expand human capabilities in low Earth orbit and beyond. Part of the challenge of exploring and further developing humanity's role in space is the cost to do so. The operating cost of running the station alone is estimated at between three and four billion dollars annually. Currently, the International Space Station is scheduled for retirement in the year 2025 at which point NASA funding will no longer be allocated towards its maintenance. But the private sector is stepping up to develop new technologies that will bring those high costs down. In November of 2015, Blue Origin made history when it successfully launched and landed its suborbital Blue Shepard rocket, making it the first fully reusable launch system. A month later, SpaceX 2 made history with the launch of its orbital class Falcon 9 rocket, making it the first fully reusable orbital class launch system. The further development of low Earth orbit by commercial companies is an important objective, one that will allow for a sustained human presence in space. Such a presence is a key factor in NASA's plans for the future, handing access to low Earth orbit over to commercial entities so that the agency might focus its efforts on deep space missions. After NASA discontinues its role on the International Space Station, there remains the potential for commercial companies to continue its upkeep and operation. To date, seven space tourists have already visited the ISS, with many more to follow. 2020 marks the year that the ISS will begin transitioning to commercial activity in preparation for 2025, opening up the orbiting laboratory to private research, tourism, marketing, promotions, and commercial business. The station, too, is continuing to grow. Its modular design allows for new components and living quarters to be added. At least one such addition is already underway a private module being built by Axiom Space for visiting tourists and commercial sector employees. The ISS represents our first steps towards inhabiting other worlds, a stepping stone and launching pad from which to explore the cosmos. The history of this momentous structure is still being writ, its future still yet to be fully realized. After 20 years aloft, we have learned to work together, peacefully across borders, we have learned valuable information that is empowering us to venture out further. We have forever shaped the outlook of our world through the perspective gained from this high perch and through technologies that have been developed in the pursuit. The International Space Station is all of ours. It is all of this and more. And if we want it, it is the place where tomorrow begins. <laughs>